In statically typed languages like C++, Java, and C Sharp, polymorphism depends upon inheritance. But in dynamically typed languages like Ruby or Smalltalk or Python, no inheritance is necessary. And in fact, inheritance is a kind of backwater relationship that hardly anybody uses in those languages. We just don't inherit much in Ruby every once in a while. Uh, if you want to think about it, think about inheritance in Ruby as being roughly equivalent to private inheritance in C++. It's for inheriting implementation, but not for polymorphism. So, yes, in a statically typed language, we need inheritance to get polymorphism. What is the strongest relationship we've got? In a statically typed language, what is the tightest coupling you can have between two classes? Inheritance. If you inherit from a base class, you depend on everything inside that base class and everything it depends on. You can't forward declare a base class if you inherit from it. You can forward declare all the classes you use. You cannot forward declare something you inherit from. So this is a very tight coupling. And yet, it's the coupling that gives us polymorphism. The statically typed languages live in this bizarre world where the relationship that provides flexibility is the tightest coupling we've got. So we have this real strange mixture of, of rigidity and flexibility in statically typed languages. Dynamically typed languages abandon that. Which is why there's a lot of people who do dynamically typed languages. It's a lot easier to write code in a dynamically typed language. A lot of studies have been done on this. Uh, dynamically typed programmers typically get things done five times faster than statically typed programmers. Uh, for whatever reason. And maybe it's not five, maybe it's four, maybe it's three, but nobody thinks that a Ruby programmer is slower than a C++ programmer. 